Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a footstep sound in Unity. And it's going to work for different things. It could work for walking water, going on concrete, um, things like that. Um, it just depends what you want to do it for and depends what, what sound you want to change up. So I'll start off by telling you what's in my scene. So I've got a cube which is just going to act as my collider for going inside. And I've got a box collider on it and it's is tid ticked to his trigger. I've got directional light on my first person controller so nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary which we haven't seen before. Now what we're actually going to have to do is start writing some scripts actually so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to create two scripts in Unity one called on water and one called player footsteps and so I'll open both scripts in Mondevelop and on the on, on water script we'll write a variable, we'll say private variable footsteps as player footsteps and that's just we're referring to this script up here and then we're gonna say function start and then inside our curly bracket it's going to say footsteps equals game object dot find first person controller close the speech marks in the bracket say dot get component and then open brackets and say player footsteps close the brackets in the semicolon and we're just trying to find this script here so then we're going to write a trigger enter and a trigger exit, so we'll say function on trigger enter, and we'll say call, and then call on collider, and then we'll write two curly brackets underneath and say if call dot game object dot tag is equal to player, close it up, and then we'll add two curly brackets again, and we'll say footsteps dot but what we need to do is actually create a variable inside our other script so if we go to the other script and we actually say that variable in water colon boolean equals false so then we can say that um, in our other script we can say footsteps dot in water is equal to true and then we'll copy this paste it underneath and say trigger exit and then we'll say that in water is equal to false and one thing I made a mistake is that I didn't keep everything consistently named so if I just change that uppercase to a lowercase um, what I can do is go to the this and say on water on here and if I go on the first person controller, I'll add the player footsteps. Now, if we go back into Mono Develop, we've, we're okay with this script now because it just means that if we enter the collider, it's going to set our in water to true, and if we exit it, it'll set it to false, and we're going to reference that in this other script. So, what we're going to do is we're going to write another variable under here called variable water step sound. And we're going to set that as type audio clip and then we're going to take, create two more variables called water timer set that to float set it equal to zero then we're going to create another variable and call it water cool and set that float equal to 0 0.0 with a semicolon then we're going to create two private variables one called ch motor and set it as type character motor another variable called controller and if we write a colon and set that to character controller and then what I'll do is write function start with my curly brackets and say ch motor is equal to get component then we'll say character 
motor and controller is equal to get component character controller because all we're doing here is seeing as though we've attached this to the first person controller you can find the character control and the character motor all at once so we're just initiating that um, what I'm going to do now is write a function update so function update and if we add the two curly brackets we're going to actually do some things to actually make the water work so first of all we're going to actually add these lines to sh make you actually be able to sprint now you don't have to have this and you can do this a different way but this is just, I'm going to just cover this quickly like I've done another tutorial that I did for my GUI one so if contr controller dot velocity dot magnitude is greater than zero and and input dot get key brackets key code dot left shift close the two brackets put the curly brackets underneath and say ch motor dot movement dot max forward speed is equal to 10 and what I'll do is copy this line and then say ch motor dot movement dot max sideways speed sideways speed equals to 10 and then under here I'll say else add the two curly brackets and I'll copy these two lines oh, those two lines paste them in there and make them equal to 6 so that's going to mean that if we're actually moving and we're pressing shift we're going to be able to sprint if not we'll just be walking now we're going to actually do something now we're going to actually do something to make the sound um, start working so we're going to write if controller dot velocity dot magnitude is greater than zero and in water is set to true so if we're in that collider like we were in the other script we'll have the two curly brackets and say we'll set a function called water sound and then here underneath water sound we'll say if controller dot velocity dot magnitude again is greater than zero and input dot get key key code dot left shift brackets and and again in water is set to true then we'll say water cool is equal to 0 0.6 and um, water sound will play so we'll use that function so what we're doing here is if we're actually moving and it's um, it's set to true we'll play the sound effect but if we're moving we're pressing shift and it's true we'll also play the water sound but we'll actually do a cool down so we can't actually play the sound too quickly so in case of um, sprinting and walking it'll speed up and slow down um, conveniently then we'll say else and we'll put the two curly brackets and we'll say water cool is equal to 0 0.6 then we'll say if water timer is greater than zero then inside the curly brackets we'll say water timer is minus minus equals to time dot delta time with a semicolon at the end and then we'll say if water timer is less than zero then we'll add the two curly brackets and say water timer is equal to zero so what this means is that if we're moving we're pressing shift and we're in it we'll do the sound if not the cooldown will still be um, 0.6 actually 
I've made a mistake here. If we're sprinting, the cooldown needs to be less time, so we'll say 0 0.4 seconds. If we're just walking, the cooldown will be 0 0.6 because it'll be a slower time. And then what we're doing is that if the time is always above zero, we're going to count down. And then if if the actual timer ever gets below zero, we'll set it to zero. And then the last thing we need to write, we need to add that other function. We'll say function water sound as we set above. And add the two curly brackets. And we'll say if water timer is equal to zero, then we'll add the two curly brackets and say audio dot play one shot open brackets water step sound close that off but a semicolon and then what we'll do is set water timer equal to water cool so we'll set it so it cools down every time so when we go back into unity you'll notice that on water that's our trigger on our play we'll need to add a sound effect and if we go to sounds and then we go to water step and then now I play the game you'll notice that if you watch my variables on this side you'll notice that oh, I always forget to do that on the character controller we need to actually add a audio source so if you go component audio audio source then press play because it won't work otherwise and this is my collider you can make it you'll notice that you can hear the sound in the six in the 0.6 second duration then you'll notice if I press shift I had the value to 0.4 and you can notice that I've sprinted and you can change that actual um, those values up you can change these values here so 0.4 for sprinting, 0.6 for walking, you can change those up depending on what you want your character to do. So realistically this was just a simple way using colliders to make something that's getting the sounds to simulate when you're on different objects of water and you could just change this that script up to make different sounds. So thanks very much for watching the tutorial and as ever don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.